today uh, I'm going to do a different video. Uh, it's going to be called El Campo Detectorist Villa Rent. I'm going to show you around an urbanisation which we have villas on uh, for rent through the summer all year round. Uh, so we'll have a look round, leave me a comment, tell me what you think of the place. So we've just come off the N332 which is one of the main coastal roads uh, in Spain on the Costa Blanca and we've pulled into the urbanisation Alcabilla. So the houses are based on like the Moors and Christians. This is the Moor effect. We used to have our house in here about 15 years ago. Cleaning up the trees about bloody time. Now our villa is that one there, which we will go and have a look inside in just a little while. Now bearing in mind it's off season and we have a couple of bars, Cocktails and Dreams, that's Tapper's Bar, this is Paco's, lovely bar. And then here's a bin, that's for your rubbish. Throw all your bottles in. Nice car parking space. And you've got other bars. Cracking guy. Pack out. And then we've got the English bar upstairs. And at the end there, we've got a place called the Royal Carvery, which do a cracking English dinner. Now, 13 years ago, no, it's not 13 going to be about 15 years ago we lived on here just around the corner from the villa I'm going to show you in a little while and we also had a bar called cocktails and dreams loved it Tom Cruise it well we're around outside the Royal Carvery at the minute and if you look behind me you can even play football let's have a look at the villas Anyway, we'll crack on and let's have a look round. Now remembering we're off peak season, man of curb Phil. Uh, so I'm going to show you some, oh this is absolutely stunning. Anytime in June, July and August, um, this is where you can spend your days. Now, when I lived on here 15 years ago and came here, I always thought I was in Hawaii or somewhere and not on the Costa Blanca. But this is the reason why. Do not die and dirty 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 and all that. Are you ready? Let's go. Kiddie area, ladies and gents toilets. That's the deep end over there. But look at that. And they've got the bar over there which is open all day. Now, once you've got the villa, we give villa passes because that's in the price, or otherwise, it costs you a euro, a euro for the day. What more can I say? A euro for the day. Anyway, I hope you like the scenery, that was brilliant. Bringing back some memories. Anyway, uh, let's take another walk up the road and uh, we'll have a look in the villa. Now, let's see how long it takes you. There's the bars. Imagine you've had a few, one too many Spanish measures of gin and tonic or JB, or whatever your drink's preferred. And all you've got to do is walk over here. And this one's our place. Got to get the gardener in. And that's how I just remember it's off peak. It's been really windy and, yes, it needs a gardener in. Right, let's open her up. Now, before we go inside, bear with us. Um, it's not set, set up, ready for rent. So it's gonna look a bit messy. Um, 
normally before anybody comes in we get the cleaners in and give it a full clean out make it all look nice and ready for you lot for when you come on your holidays let's go and have a look inside well we've had some big storms but uh, a nice little small garden area and uh, there's your barbecue through the front door this is your lounge area with telly Wi-Fi so you can call back home eating area small kitchen but good enough when you're on your holidays okay we'll have a look upstairs now this place has got two double rooms and one single, two single beds, which I'll show you now. There you go. Nice bit of woodwork. Double bed. What's the view like out the window? Let's have a look. Wow. Okay. And where's the light? Here you go. Lovely, lovely bathroom. Nice tiles. That's your shower. Then we've got a single room, wardrobe. That's it. All mod cons. We've got the air con fitted, just. And then when you go upstairs. This is Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Again, they're not made up, but they will be. And that goes out onto the terrace again, aircon, which you need. So, another bathroom, another shower area, all the mod cons. Downstairs we go, holding the railings, especially after a night on the beer. Three floors, lounge, dining and kitchen area, two bedrooms, bathroom on the second, and on the third, bedroom ensuite. And there it is. Well, there you go, folks. It's my villa. Uh, prices are ranged from 350 to 475 euros uh, a week. So if you've got six of you, that's not a bad price, really, is it? Just over 100 euros for a week on the Costa Blanca. Some cracking bars. You've seen the pool. Two-minute walk to the beach, which uh, we'll have to drive around. And I'll just show you the, uh, the bottom and the beach. But that's about it. It's a it's a it's a relaxing place. It's great for a family of four. Uh, the villa sleeps six. Uh, if you can use the settees downstairs. Uh, well, there you go. We've got uh, Nick and Kelly from iFine. They're coming over in March with the family. Um, it's their wedding anniversary, so got to get the place looking good for them. And obviously have a few beers every night because it's uh, it's the law. It's what you got to do. Anyway, I'm going to go for a coffee, and uh, then I'll see you down at the bottom of the beaches. Catch you soon. Up I go. What's that, mate? This is me, 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 go back over here, lad. What's selling? What's selling? Yeah, what's selling? He's selling the bar. If you're interested. What time? Oh, I'm just coming here. Can I have a cold light shake for? So, right, here we go. Right, it's got a bar for sale. So, uh, he's been here a long time. His kids grew up with our kids. I mean, his kids all big and... But here we go, look. It might not zoom in, but what we're looking at, I can't see the price. Yeah, I can. 290,000. See, and he will come down a little bit. 
right? But in the summer, this place is a gold mine, right? I mean, you've seen the chairs outside, it goes on forever. Uh, there you go, look. We've had some cracking nights here. There you go. You can't go wrong. Cheap holiday. You've got to come over here. All you've got to do is send us a message and uh, I'll send you the details. Anyway, I'm off for a coffee. Remember the sign, if you want to buy a bar on the Costa Blanca, this is it. Catch you in a bit. Now I'm just driving around the block because I haven't got the key to the bottom gate. So there's your train tram line. The urbanisation is just at the back. We're well, driving up to it now. From the tram station, which is at the bottom of Alcabillo, you can go to Benidorm, which takes you about 40 minutes, allowing for all the stops. Um, but cracking scenery all the way to Benidorm. That's uh, that away. And then you've got Pugcampana just behind that palm tree, which is the tallest mountain on the Costa Blanca. And if you go the other way, you go into Alicante, which takes you about half an hour by tram. Um, so, day trips, easy possible. Here you go, this is the urbanization now, come here. And over the road, and look over there, you see the sea? Again, normally June, July, August time, there's a beach bar on here. Tell you what, at three o'clock in the morning, it's hard work walking back to the villa. They do big measures here. I'm still trying to get used to it. <laughs> and there you go. Normally, that's where the bar is. Five minute walk from the villa. And this is where you're at. Oh, there you go. A quick trip in, I don't know, 15 minutes. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, it's a cracking place to come on holiday, the beach is lovely, the bars are great, and all for three, four hundred euros, you can't go wrong. So if you're interested, drop us a line, all I can say is thanks very much for joining me on the, the Villa Rent, um, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment, tell me what you think of the place. And again, just like to thank all my subscribers. You're tops. Happy hunting and good luck.